Okay, so welcome to math story ha? and let's solve this problem. Find the slope of the curve at the given point. So first, we need to find the first derivative of this given equation. So for the derivative of x to the power 3, this one is 3x. Then minus 1 for the exponent, that's to the power 2. Then plus 2 times the derivative of x squared times y squared. So using the product rule, this one is u and v. So formula for the product rule, that's v times the derivative of u plus u times the derivative of v. So we have v, that's y squared, times the derivative of u, so derivative of x squared, that's 2x, then plus u, so u is x squared, times the derivative of v, so derivative of y squared, that's 2y times y prime. Then minus 2 times the derivative of x, this one is u, and y to the power 3, this one is v. So using this formula, so we have v, that's y to the power 3, times the derivative of x, that's 1, then plus u, so u is x, times the derivative of v, this one is 3y, to the power 2, times y prime. Then equal, so for the derivative of a constant, this one is 0. Then simplify, so we have this 3x squared, plus 2 times, so multiply, that's 2xy to the power 2, plus, so multiply, this one is 2x squared, y times y prime, then minus 2 times, this one is y to the power 3, plus multiply, this one is 3x, then y squared, times y prime, then equal 0. Then simplify, so we have 3x squared, so distribute, this one is 4x y to the power 2, then to this term, so we have plus 4, then x to the power 2 times y times y prime, then this negative 2, so we have negative 2, y to the power 3, then negative 2 times 3, this one is negative 6, x, y squared, then y prime equals 0, then combine all terms with y prime, so we have this 4x squared, y, y prime, then minus 6, x, y squared, then y prime, then all terms with no y prime transpose to the right. So this 3x squared transpose. So this becomes negative 3x squared. Then this positive 4xy squared transpose becomes negative 4xy squared. And this negative 2y to the power 3 transpose becomes positive 2y to the power 3. Then factor out this y prime, so put this y prime outside. So we have now 4x squared times y, then minus 6xy to the power 2. Then equals, so negative 3x squared minus 4xy squared plus 2y to the power 3. Then divide both sides by this 4x squared y minus 6x y squared and also for this side we have 4x squared y minus 6x y squared so cancel so y prime equals so this negative 3 x squared minus 4x y squared plus 2y to the power 3, then over this 4x squared times y minus 6xy squared. Then since the first derivative or y prime is equal to the slope, 
and we have this point, negative 1 and 1. So this one is x and y. So substitute now the values for x and y to this equation. So we have negative 3 times x. x is negative 1, then to the power 2. Then minus 4 times x is negative 1. And y is 1, then to the power 2. Plus 2 times y is 1, then to the power 3, then over. So this 4 times x is negative 1. Then y is 1. Then minus 6 times x is negative 1 and y is 1. So we have now m equals, so this negative 1 to the power 2, that's positive 1. And positive 1 times negative 3, that's negative 3. Then this negative 4 times negative 1, that's positive 4. Times 1, that's positive 4. And this 1 to the power 3, that's 1. Then times 2, that's positive 2. Then over, so this negative 1 squared, that's 1. Then times 4, that's 4. Then this negative 6 times negative 1, that's positive 6. Then times 1, so we have plus 6. Then simplify to find the slope. So this 3 plus 4, that's 1, and 1 plus 2, that's 3, then over, 4 plus 6, that's 10. So therefore, the slope of the curve is 3 over 10.